Welcome to the 2021 Nursing Program Pinning Ceremony, broadcasting live from the Tilden Art Center at Cape Cod Community College. Graduates, you may be seated. Good evening and congratulations to you, the Cape Cod Community College Nursing Class of 2021. My name is Kate Casey Lane and I am one of the faculty members as well as the nursing club advisors. Welcome President John Cox, Vice President Arlene Rodriguez, Dean Patrick Preston, our director Audrey Kilcoin, nursing faculty, staff, family, and friends. Thank you all for joining us in celebrating this joyous occasion. Joining us in the audience is Vice President Christopher Clark, Board of Trustees members, our Chair Tammy Sabins, Dave Bushy, Laura Newstead, and Judy Quinn, who is also the Chief Nursing Officer at Cape Cod Hospital. I would also like to introduce our nursing faculty that is joining us here on the platform tonight. Firstly, a few of the full-time faculty, if you could just stand. 
Dr. Laura Seabury. Dr. Seabury is also an alumni of the Four Seas Nursing Program and one of the Nursing Club Advisors. Professor Denise Hallemeyer, a Nursing Club Advisor as well. Sadie Kinahan, another alumni of Cape Cod Community College Nursing Program. And Dr. Lisa Van Cott. A special congratulations to Dr. Van Cott, who just completed her PhD last month. And a few of our adjunct faculty, Cheryl Brennan and Diane LaValle. I have the high honor and distinct pleasure of introducing our first speaker, our leader, our president, Dr. John Cox. Oh, I forgot to say one thing. Thank you, Dr. Cox. The, the graduates and the faculty are all wearing a purple ribbon that represents pancreatic cancer. Jo Lynn McKenna, one of our graduates, sadly lost her mother, and everybody's wearing them in honor of her mom. So, who can't be here? Thank you. Nursing class of 2021. Nursing class of 2021. <laughs> Did you ever think we'd get to this point where we would go maskless? Congratulations. You don't have to answer that question. You've dodged so many rounds of the pandemic as we get COVID-19 under management. And on behalf of our Board of Trustees, I want to just extol to you how proud we are of this accomplishment and being here this evening to celebrate your success, recognizing the life-altering commitments that you've made to achieve this milestone in life. It takes a special person to pursue the profession dedicated to the care and service of others. And it takes a special learning community to enable your success, pandemic or not. As we're reflecting on the significance of the completion of your studies, we think back more than a century and a half ago to Florence Nightingale, as she presented graduates with the badge of courage. The intent was and remains to encourage you to faithfully practice the profession of nursing. Your achievement is recognized, and it is a recognition of your role and commitment as the backbone of healthcare. On this occasion, let's take a moment to appreciate your family and friends who helped support your efforts and who made up the educational village enabling your success along with the commitment of our faculty and staff to make this day possible. This is that moment. This is that moment. See, we're out of practice. We haven't done, we, we haven't had too many of these live events like this. So this is, uh, this is history in the making. Most of all, on behalf of our entire college community, I'm very proud of your commitment to this educational journey and to a profession committed to safeguarding and promoting the health and happiness of our world. I wish you the best of success in your career, your calling, and life's journey. Continue to build the love for great nursing care with your patients. All the best. Vice President Arlene Rodriguez would like to say a few words as well. Ooh, soon we'll be able to see smiles and not get masks cut off on glasses again. 
very, very soon. Ah. So we shall return again. We will return to that. I shall return to laugh and love and watch with wonder eyes at golden noon. I shall return to loiter by the streams that bathe the brown blades of the bending grasses. I shall return to hear the fiddle and fife of village dances, dear delicious tunes that stir the hidden depth of life. We owe those lovely words to Claude McKay, a poet from Jamaica who was a key figure in the Harlem Renaissance, a prominent literary movement. <laughs> yes! A prominent literary movement of the 1920s. And like, as he says is with his return, so we return here today to gather face to face on so many levels, we've longed for this day. President Cox, Board of Trustee members, Four Cs faculty and staff, nursing program director Audrey Kilcoyne, who began her tenure during this COVID period, and to the hardest working nursing faculty in this entire Commonwealth, absolutely. And most importantly to you, the persistent, powerful nursing students. Nursing students, you're going to be praised for all your hard work, deservedly so. You are the group that did all of this study in the middle of a worldwide crisis. You, everyone, will, all of us, will tell stories of pivots, of PPEs. You specifically can tell the story of the campaign led by your faculty, by the administration, by President Cox, the fierce and steady campaign to make sure that you and your fa faculty were vaccinated early so you can get back to your studies and to serving the community. You may share stories of ca caring for COVID patients, and you may share stories of speaking to faculty, families excuse me, during this time. What you have done is unprecedented. Please remember that. You were accepted into one of the most competitive programs in our school, in any school. And then you completed those studies in a pandemic. To your nursing skills, all those competencies upon which you were assessed, add an extra dose of patience and perseverance. When you're at an interview, don't forget those skills you developed during this history-making pandemic. As you enter your profession, you might have a day or two that you want to say, this is a bad day, or this is a tough day. Honestly, think of them as days that gave you a chance to sharpen your superpowers of patience and perseverance, the ones that you've earned right here at Four Seas during this pandemic. Remember the skills that got you into the program and through the program. Those will be the skills that will set you apart from any other nurse on that floor any other nurse at that clinic, any other nurse at the hospital. And those are the skills that are going to get you through what everyone else might say is a bad day. You know that when faced with a challenge, you're not going to complain or worry. You're going to solve it. You know that you're going to lead it. You're going to create that pathway to success because you've done it already. Others will ask, Oy, why now? Why me? Some will wish that things were different and let you know that they would have done it too, but you know, with the pandemic and everything, I couldn't. You did it. You moved ahead and you will always continue to move ahead. Nursing class of 2021, congratulations. Take care. Our next speaker will be signing your RN licensure exam application. Our director of the nursing program, Audrey Kilcoin. Good evening. The very first thing I'm going to try to do is not cry because <laughs> I can't believe that we've made it, all of us, faculty, administration, students. It's been quite a year 
in order to get everyone what they needed to succeed. I stand here today so happy and with so much joy that I can share in this excitement to join you in your success of completing nursing school and becoming a registered nurse. As I said, someday you will be my colleague. Today, you are my colleague. Very proud of each and every one of you. I am truly humbled. It has been an honor and a privilege to be part of your journey. Graduating during a global pandemic is historical, and you are all very, very special. As you continue your nursing career, keep celebrating your successes, no matter how big or how small. Always remember, you are making a difference every day in someone's life. Remember to stay positive, set your goals high, ask for help, inspire, help others. And lastly, in the words of Dr. Benjamin Spock, trust yourself. You know more than you think you do. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Director Kilcoin. This year, our faculty she has been an asset toward the nursing program since 1998, probably before some of you were born. Sorry. <laughs> That's 23 years of you, for 23 years for those of you who have turned off your dimensional analysis brain tonight. So um, Cheryl is retiring, and we are thrilled that she is going to be our speaker. Thank you, Cheryl. You can come to the podium. Thank you to everyone who's here, distinguished guests who have already been announced, and certainly to everyone who has helped to participate to get us in this building and have a wonderful, wonderful ceremony. When I was asked by Dr. Seabury certainly to have the opportunity to address this group, I was so honored. I, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I, what can I share? that um, give the opportunity to be able to speak in front of all, all these wonderful students, um, you know, and their families along the way. This has been, as everyone has deduced, that a very challenging year. And it will make academic history, as well as the most challenging, certainly, in our healthcare system. You will always be able to say, I completed the nursing program in the pandemic. You know, I was part of the solution with regard to the 2020 pandemic. They'll write books about this, and you'll be able to share with your family and with your friends. Oh, I know, I remember that. I had the great pleasure of being a registered nurse for 51 years. Now, Kate gives me credit for 23. <laughs> It was the very best decision I ever made, and I really didn't know what I wanted to do. My mother wanted me to be a stenographer. Most of you don't even know what that is, you know? It's like, my grandmother told me she would let me be a doctor. She'd pay for it, and I thought, I don't want to do 24 hours a day, seven days a week, doesn't sound right. So then I said, okay, I'll be a nurse, you know? So fortunately, you know, if you can count back 51 years, you're right, none of you were born that were in this front section here. In those 51 years, and I realize I don't look quite that old, but you know, it's like this profession hasn't totally destroyed you know, our, um, my good looks. Certainly, I, through those 51 years, have had the opportunity to do hospital work in acute care. I've done home care. I've done long-term care. You know, I've had the opportunity to be in nursing management positions, and certainly the most rewarding that I have ever done in my career has to, is to be faculty at Northeastern University, UMass Dartmouth, and as Kate indicated, 
23 years at Cape Cod Community College. It was, it's been a marvelous, marvelous opportunity along the way. It's, been, it's an amazing profession that you've chosen. It provides you with diversity and endless opportunities and heartwarming rewards. Recently, a couple of the staff came by, you know, and said, oh, gosh, you know what? Today's my anniversary. You hired me 25 years ago. I'm like, oh, my goodness. You know, it's like make me feel older every minute, you know. So, you know, it's like, and they've never regretted a minute of making that decision. So mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters and children, understand that your special graduate has chosen a compassionate, rewarding, and respected profession. You should always be very too proud to say, my mom, my dad, my, my grandmother, my brother, my sister is a registered nurse. You know, um, Thomas Paine said, there are many times that will try our souls. We've been there. We've done some of those already. These individuals here obviously helped us get through that. I saw so much teamwork and collegiality among all of you during this pandemic. You had to do a lot of twisting and turning to get through the pieces that you needed to get through. You know, the registered nurse, the registered professional that essentially you will become in the weeks ahead during this pandemic handled death, hopelessness, fear, isolation, but so many times they help to alleviate the pain and stresses associated that you will also need to deal with throughout your career, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But indeed, it is a team sport. We do not do this alone. We do not do this alone even in our, in our professional career. As a student in this program, you came each day knowing that you would need to make sacrifices, as did your family. You could be, you could be, be sitting here because of that, all of those participants on this joyous occasion. You've so, shown amazing resilience. Through the twists and turns and obstacles that others have identified, it was the, it was be the last time you were asked, to, it will not be the last time that you're asked to make sacrifices, certainly in this profession. That is why, more than ever, when you know, you're asked if you're a registered nurse, please don't ever say, I'm only the nurse. You are the nurse. You are the person that helps to plan care, alleviate pain, hold hands, teach, and certainly, you know, um, obviously have the opportunity to experience multitudes of things. But you are never just the nurse. You are a registered professional nurse. Hold your heads high, graduates of 2021. Florence Nightingale, in her notes, and you can't leave her out, obviously, on the way here. You know, in the 1860s, they, every day is one more accomplishment. Can you imagine all the accomplishments you've done already? And there are more to come for all of you. Please nurture yourselves. Pat yourselves on the back. And remember to praise and respect each other and all the other health care professionals that you will work with. Reflect on your accomplishments every day and close your day on a positive thought. I am so proud to be a registered nurse and I want to praise and thank all of you for choosing a profession and to at one point you will also, I'm so grateful that you will be my colleagues. Bless and thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. That was awesome. I would like to invite Dr. Laura Seabury to the podium to pre present some special gifts. Good evening. I have the pleasure to acknowledge a few students and faculty that have had a positive impact on the nursing class of 2021. So when I read your name, please stand and be recognized 
and you will receive your gift of appreciation when you receive your pin. First, I would like to recognize and thank the Nursing Club President, Emily Weston. <laughs> Emily was elected to represent you in your freshman year. Classmates often referred to her as the RNBFF, and some commented that she was an integral part to many students' success. Classmates wanted to let her know how much they appreciate her drive and dedication. They designed and made the sash she is wearing today. Emily has been an active leader during the two years as president. When something needed to be done, Kate and I knew that Emily would recruit the students we needed to accomplish the task at hand. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> Next, we want to recognize the nursing club secretary, Danielle Kelly. She, too, has been involved in the nursing club since your freshman year. Danielle, I have to tell you, writes the best and fastest minutes I have ever seen. She completed minutes sometimes before Kate and I were done chatting. We would get back to our office or off the Zoom meeting, and the minutes would be in our emails. I cannot tell you how much we appreciate Danielle. Thank you, Danielle. We also want to recognize the Nursing Club Treasurer, Rebecca Brooks. <laughs> Rebecca did an incredible job with the sweatshirt sale. I have been responsible for the sale for the last 14 years, and she came in and she took it over. She organized the sale so that it could be done completely online. This allowed anyone who wanted a Cape Cod Community College nursing sweatshirt or jacket the ability to get one. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> the next gift is given to the student with the highest cumulative grade point average, and that student is Emily Halleck. Emily, I already saw you stand, um, but we want to recognize you for your dedication to the study of nursing and nursing practice. Thank you. <laughs> this next gift, I am especially happy to present to Cheryl Brennan. So um, uh, this is from the class of 2021. As uh, Kate said, Cheryl has taught with us for 23 years. And what this means is that there is at least 368 registered nurses out in the world that have had the benefit of learning from an educator who has an incredible dedication to the profession of nursing and nursing education. On behalf of the nursing students and the faculty, I want to thank you, Cheryl. It has been an honor to work with you. So the final gift I would like to present is a gift to my friend and my colleague, Dr. Kate Casey Lane. Kate, Kate didn't know this was coming. So Kate has been a catalyst that has kept the nursing club going this past year. As the advisor to the nursing club, she organized the meetings and events which allowed the club to function as normal as possible. Kate 
please accept this gift of appreciation from the nursing faculty and the nursing class of 2021. I have one more. This is a thank you. And we want to thank Tara's, Tara uh, Mint's aunt, Joanne Sullivan. She made all these masks for us that we are all wearing, so we would look pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> anyway. So this concludes the gift presentation. Thank you. I couldn't do Nursing Club without you, Laura, so thank you so much, Dr. Seabury. Our next um, speaker is our Nursing Club president, Emily Weston. If Emily could come to the stage. Thank you, Dr. Casey Lane. First of all, congratulations to my fellow graduates. I can't believe we are finally sitting here in person together. It has certainly been a long and challenging two years, and I hope that each and every one of you are so proud of yourselves for the hard work and determination that you've shown. Nursing school has taught us so much, both about nursing and about life. We've learned what it means to be resilient, how to look at adversity and overcome it. We've deepened our understanding of what it means to be compassionate and respectful human beings, to be nurses who our future patients can trust and rely on, to protect them and to advocate for them. We've learned how to critically analyze information and how to prioritize tasks. And of course, thanks to Professor Candy Schwartz, we've perfected a thorough assessment that can be completed in under eight minutes. When I think back to first semester, I can't help but reflect on how much this experience has changed me. And I'm sure many of you sitting here today share similar feelings. The first semester was an adjustment. We were introduced to our first clinical groups who would become like our family. We learned how to study for nursing school exams, and we all thought that level three prep U was a challenge. So many med cards, one giant care plan, and I had absolutely no idea what respiratory alkalosis was. By second semester, we were starting to feel a little more confident as students. We knew where to go and how to dress for lab. We could pass a vSIM with relative ease, and we even stepped it up a notch to complete level four on PrepU. But halfway through the semester, our worlds were changed. I don't know about you all, but when the college announced that we wouldn't be returning to school after spring break, I never imagined that March 12, 2020 would be the, strict, the last strictly in-person learning that we did as a class. Here's where nursing school got even more difficult as we adjusted to meeting on Zoom. Not only did we learn about Leopold's maneuver and pediatric vaccine schedules, we also learned about mute. Well, some of us anyway. Others who shall remain nameless still need a reminder here and there to check that mute before shouting bizarre things to family members. But aside from that, we learned adaptability. Nothing in nursing is predictable. We learned to expect the unexpected, how to cope with changes. We navigated nursing school, we homeschooled children, and we dealt with a pandemic. After a well-deserved summer break spent studying pharmacology, we were back and ready to begin our final year. Third and fourth semester to me were a total blur. I think we all learned firsthand the absolute realness of an amygdala hijack. Our cortisol was high, our serotonin was low. Oh, and Prep U showed us what a gift level three really was as we answered question after question 
in hopes that that last screen would turn green with a mastery level of eight. Returning to clinical after nine months of quarantine was thrilling and terrifying. To the clinical instructors who patiently taught us new skills and built our confidence back up, I want to thank you on the behalf of the class. We appreciate your encouragement and guidance. For many of us, myself included, starting nursing school was scary. But finishing it, well, that has proven to be surprisingly scary as well. After such a whirlwind two years, a sudden end feels quite strange. I find myself frequently asking, what comes next? What if I make a mistake? Am I ready for this? And to a certain extent, I think all these questions are very normal, even more so because we are about to hold a nursing license. We are recognizing that our actions and judgments have consequences that affect not only ourselves, but our patients, our families, our coworkers, the list goes on and on. I feel less than qualified to offer any suggestions on how to best overcome these fears. So I'm going to pass on a simple piece of advice that I received when I was applying for nursing school. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Stay present, stay focused, and offer yourself grace. There will always be fear, and that's okay. Ask your questions. Apply for your dream nursing job. Don't be afraid to change jobs if what you're doing isn't right for you. Be present when you're caring for your patients and make the moment you're in your priority. Have grace with yourself when you are having a bad day or when you're tired. And most importantly, don't forget your own strength. There is so much potential sitting in this room right now so much intelligence and determination. My wish for you all is that you always appreciate the experience that nursing school has been. It hasn't been easy. In fact, it may be one of the most difficult things we've ever done. There are those of us here who have been raising children, some in a one-parent household. Some of you have worked through a pandemic while maintaining your studies. Some of you have given birth in the program, and others have suffered losses. All of these experiences will make us better, more compassionate, and empathetic nurses. It's truly inspiring to witness how we've dealt with life's challenges along the way to achieve our goal, this moment right here. In closing, I want to again offer on behalf of the class our sincerest gratitude. First, to the faculty, who have adapted with us through this pandemic and who have supported us and cultivated us into nursing school graduates, soon to be RNs, to the nursing administrative assistants who have been organized, helpful, and quick to respond when we have questions or need direction. And of course, to our families, friends, partners, and children who have supported us and tolerated our long, crazy study hours our need for just one more hour of peace and quiet, our highlighter and colored pen budgets that have probably gone over the limit of what's acceptable, who has quizzed us with flashcards the day before exams. I'm looking at you, Mom. <laughs> you have been our anchors, and we couldn't have done this without you. Once again, congratulations, everyone. I'm so proud to be a part of the Cape Cod Community College nursing class of 2021. We did it. Thank you, Emily, you did a great job. Next, please welcome to the podium our nursing club treasurer, Rebecca Brooks, to the podium to tell us about the history of pinning.
Good evening. I would first like to thank everyone for being here this evening to share in this joyous occasion. A special thank you goes out to the faculty members. You have been by our sides as we all transitioned from nursing school to global pandemic virtual nursing school. Thank you. I would also like to thank everyone's family, friends, and guests, both here and in person, and also those who are joining us virtually. Your support has allowed us to complete nursing school and to take part in this time-honored tradition. The pinning ceremony has a rich history and it's filled with symbolism. It signifies our official initiation into the brotherhood and sisterhood of nurses. The history of this rite of passage can be traced all the way back to the Crusades and members of the Knights of the Order of the Hospital of St. John the Baptist, a religious order who tended to the ill and wounded crusaders in the 12th century. Their uniform included a black robe and a white Maltese cross. The Maltese cross is an eight-pointed cross formed by four arrowheads joining at their points. The eight points of the cross signifies the beatitudes that knights were expected to exemplify in their works of charity. The Maltese cross later became a symbol of many groups who cared for the sick. The modern pinning ceremony dates back to the 1860s at the Nightingale School of Nursing at St. Thomas Hospital in London. Having been recently awarded the Red Cross of St. George for her selfless service to the injured and dying in the Crimean War, Florence Nightingale chose to extend the honor of, this honor to her most outstanding nursing graduates by presenting them with a medal to honor their excellence. These pins reflect the nurse's pride in his or her school and identify them as nurses who were educated to serve the health needs of society. Today, our graduates, following tradition, are also awarded the nursing pin as a symbol of completion of a rigorous and demanding nursing program. The Cape Cod Community College nursing pin is symbolic of the attributes of our nursing graduates. The catechist symbol depicted on our pins is a representation of wisdom, communication, and also of peace. Embedded in front of this symbol is the lantern representing a flame of learning, which for the dedicated nurse will never go out. Encircling these engravings is a band of blue, which is a color that signifies trust, loyalty, wisdom, confidence, intelligence, faith, and truth. Always remember to be true to yourselves, your patients, and the profession of nursing. Today, as we receive our nursing pin, be ever mindful of those who have so courageously gone before us and those who will also stoically serve with us. Always wear your pin with pride. Let it serve as a constant reminder, not only to ourselves, but to our patients, family, and friends of our desire, dedication, and commitment to serve others. It is truly both a medal of honor and a badge of courage. At this special time, we honor our past, celebrate our present, and imagine our futures. Congratulations, graduates, and thank you. Great job, Rebecca. So at this time, I would like to ask Dr. Seabury to the podium to our left. She will 
announce your names and has a little something to say that each graduate has written. Will the first row of graduates please stand and proceed to the stage for pinning. Denise Hallemeyer, will you please pin our first row? Emily Weston. <laughs> Emily would like to thank her family, uh, to Nick and Penny, and to all her friends who have supported this journey, and she loves you all. <laughs> Rebecca Brooks. Rebecca Brooks writes, thank you to the faculty, especially the clinical nursing instructors whose leadership transformed, transformed her and her fellow students into professional nurses. Congratulations to everyone. Danielle Kelly. Danielle would like to thank her family and friends for their love and support, wishing all the best to the future, to the future endeavors of her classmates. <laughs> Katia Algavaro. Kamana Allen. Kamana wants to thank her mom, her daughter Paisley, and BFFs Kadija, Kadija, Sabrina, and Rula for being on this journey with her. She loves you all. Jillian Andrews. Jillian writes, thank you to all the Cape Cod Community College educators and support staff for making this nursing program experience a success. <laughs> Natalie Bickle. Natalie would like to thank her boyfriend, family, and friends who were there during nursing school, and thank you to all the faculty. Without you, we wouldn't be standing here right now. <laughs> Isabella Bowen. <laughs> Isabella would like to thank her mom and dad and Cape Cod Community College for believing in her and to uh, thank our friends uh, that she made along the way. EZ, BD, EW, we did it. <laughs> uh, Taylor Callisti. So Taylor writes, we made it. Huge shout out to her family for getting me where I am today. 
I, it wouldn't have been possible without you. XO, XO. <laughs> Tasha Sassard. <laughs> so Tasha wants to thank her wonderful family, boyfriend, and friends on helping her get through these last two years. She would not have made it without you. Professor Sadie Kinahan, please assist with the pinning. <laughs> Dimitro Churganitz. <laughs> Special thanks to his daughter, Thais, his wife, Oksana, and all his friends who helped him to become the person he is now. Alicia Christensen. Alicia would like to thank Aiden, Aurora, and Dave for being there every day. To Jessica, mom, and dad for believing in me, and her aunts who inspired her. Patricia Coelho. Patricia sends out a sincere thank you to all her family and friends for cheering her on, and a special thank you to her husband for his endless support and love. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so Kendra Corazzini. And Kendra would like to acknowledge, we did it. Felicia Cousins. Felicia writes, to God be all the glory and honor. Thank you to my family and friends for your support and encouragement. Carissa Courier. <laughs> Carissa writes, thank you family, friends, and nursing faculty for your support, motivation. I could not have made it without you. Double hearts. <laughs> Lindsay DaCosta. Lindsay writes, what we felt like the impossible became possible. Thank you to my family and friends for your constant support. Sarah Dionisio. Sarah writes, the best is yet to come. Thank you to everyone that helped me make me through this journey. Ma, pa, thank you for everything. <laughs> Brittany DeRoma. <laughs> Brittany wants to thank her mom for being her strength and Nona, who is her biggest supporter appreciation to all her friends and family for cheering her on. Okay. Katie Ellenwood. <laughs> Dr. Van Cott, please help with the pinning.
Alexa Elliott. Alexa writes, thank you for the endless support and encouragement from my amazing boyfriend, parents, friends, and classmates. Thank you for believing in me. Rhiannon R. Finton. Rhiannon writes, Thank you to my mom and dad, my siblings, my grandparents, my aunts, Leslie, Dr. McManus, and all my coworkers for believing in me. <laughs> Alexis Galvin. Alexa Gelson. <laughs> Alexa would like to a huge thank you to friends and family, especially her mother, father, Sky, Amber, Molly, and Cass for the unconditional love and support. She loves you all. <laughs> Deborah George. Josie Greenmeyer. <laughs> Josie would like to say that this has been a wild ride. Or actually, I'm sorry, I, I, I put that in there. <laughs> it's been a wild journey. <laughs> uh, Tom, Fiona, Finnegan, thank you for keeping me uh, going. Mom, thank you for making it possible. We did it. Brittany Griffin. <laughs> Brittany wants to thank her fellow nursing students, professors, friends, and family members, and a special thanks to her husband, Dave, for always supporting her. <laughs> Yvonne Gunderson. Yvonne would like to thank God for helping her through this. <laughs> Crystal Hadaware. <laughs> Crystal writes, Mom, Dad, and my amazing husband, I could not be here without you. To all my professors, thank you for all you do. Dawn Hall. Emily Halleck. <laughs> Emily would like to thank her family and friends who supported her through this journey. <laughs> Jennifer Laura Hatfield. <laughs> Professor Diane LaValle, please help with the pinning. After this one. <laughs> Jennifer would like to thank all of her family for their love and support. <laughs> Stephanie Heaney. <laughs> and Stephanie writes, faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. 
MLK Jr. Chantel Heath. Chantel would like to thank members of the nursing faculty, her family, and friends for supporting her through this journey. Maya Ivanova. Maya would like to thank her mother-in-law, Patricia, her boyfriend, Chris, for all the support through her academic success. Stand by. Change the page. Shannon Jewell. Shannon writes, thank you, Jen, for supporting me and pushing me every time I felt like I couldn't go on. This is our accomplishment together. Love you. Marissa Johnson. Matthew Jones. <laughs> Larissa Karateshev. Olivia McLeod. <laughs> Olivia would like to thank all of her friends and family for uh, supporting her, especially her mom. She couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Sandrine McIntosh. <laughs> Sandrine would like to thank all of the faculty and classmates who assisted her in completing this journey. She could not have done it without any of us. Oh, Jolyn. Jolyn McKenna. Jolyn writes, thank you, Mom and Dad, for your endless love and support. I couldn't have done this without you. Forever grateful and blessed. I love you. <laughs> Brianna Medeiros. <laughs> Brianna writes, Thank you to all my family and friends who have supported me through this journey, especially my husband, Justin. <laughs> Dina Marie Meritus. <laughs> Dina writes, thank you to my husband for all the support and understanding. Thank you to my children. A special thanks to the nursing teachers. <laughs> Rebecca Michelle. <laughs> I'm not sure I should read it, but I'm gonna. May your cup runneth over, unless it's that urine specimen cup that you've been trying to hand me. <laughs> T. 
Tara Mintz. And Cheryl Brennan, will you please, Cheryl Brennan, please help with the pinning. Tara wants to thank, uh, send a thank you to classmates, faculty, and staff, to her friends, and the biggest thank you to her family. Asa, Amelia, and Gabe, I love you. <laughs> Troy Minot. Natalie Murphy. So Natalie says, we did it. She wants to thank her family and friends for all of their support the past couple of years. She wouldn't have been here without all of you. Thanks. Heather? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Heather Case Murray. <laughs> Heather writes, thank you to the nursing faculty, friends, and family for your ongoing support. A special appreciation to my guardian angels, Auntie Goose and Great Grandma. Ashley O'Connor. So Ashley would like to thank Faith, Ruby, Rise for being uh, her motivation. Thank you, my parents, family, friends, professors, and cl classmates. It's never too late to achieve dreams. didn't know what that, I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Heather Peer. <laughs> Heather writes, I would like to thank my mom, my dad, my bonbon in heaven, and my family for the support to make it through this. <laughs> Samantha Perkins. Samantha writes, thank you, Dad and Taylor, for your support and encouragement. Mom, thank you for your endless knowledge and being my tutor. I love you. Oops. Raja Rahali. Raja writes, I am so happy to be here today. Thank you to my family, friends, fellow nursing students, and faculty for all of the support. <laughs> Jenna Reed. <laughs> Jenna writes, thank you to my family for your continued support throughout this journey. Congrats, class of 2021. We did it. <laughs> Cynthia Sears. <laughs> Cynthia writes, thanks to all who stuck by me, by my side through the craziness. Sarah Stella.
Sarah writes, thank you to my beautiful family and friends and faculty. Becoming a nurse has been a dream come true. Mackenzie West. Mackenzie writes, thank you, Dad, Nana, Mom, Carlo, Ethan, for helping me survive nursing school. I love you all. Congratulations to my classmates. Kristen Windham. Erin Zielinska. Erin writes, we did it. Thank you to my amazing family and friends that got me here today. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Seabury. In closing, this has been an unprecedented year, as previously said, and you, the nursing class of 2021, have demonstrated such resilience and grit in managing all the obstacles that could have prevented you from sitting here tonight. Most of you know I love to tell stories, and as Vice President Rodriguez said, now you all have stories to tell as well about your experience in nursing school. And as Emily mentioned, some of you have experienced loss. One of you gave birth this semester. A couple of you have had hospitalizations, surgeries, and physical rehab. Many of you were on the front line of COVID-19. Some of you cared for Ill, Ill family members. And more than one of you are a military wife whose husbands were transferred out of state in the middle of all this craziness this year. Meanwhile, all of you managed to complete this rigorous program. You are all amazing. Please give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you to all of those who are in attendance, both in person and remote. Congratulations again to the nursing class of 2021. This concludes our ceremony. Family and friends, please remain in your seats until all the graduates have recessed out of the Tilden. Sorry about that. Can you just please come back in? And Danielle Kelly, would you please come to the, to the stage? A little anticlimactic now. Sorry, but yeah, we're, we're a little out of practice. We haven't done this in a couple years now, so um, I apologize. And we want to thank the staff of the Tilden, Kendra, Vanna, and Brian for all you've done. And now you just sit again. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Would the graduating nursing class of 2021 and all registered nurses in attendance please rise and join me in reciting the Nightingale Pledge. I pledge myself here before my God and in the presence of this assembly 
to practice my profession with integrity. I will endeavor to maintain and elevate the standard of nursing, both as a science and as an art. I wholeheartedly recognize the importance of high standards of care and of personal accountability of medical information. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I devote myself to the healing, protection, and welfare of those committed to my care, and I, ex uh, I accept a duty to work for the improvement of health in the communities in which I live and work. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and will respect the privacy of medical information. I will act with compassion in ethical matters. I will not knowingly administer or consume any harmful substance. I can to interdisciplinary collaboration and lifelong learning. I fully acknowledge the seriousness of the responsibility that I accept in my calling and the significance of this pledge that I take today. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you, Emily, for keeping me on track once again. So, um, again, we'll try this again. That was a little rehearsal for our exit. So, if family members and friends can please remain seated as the graduates recess. <laughs>